Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So we're going to be going over a pretty quick lesson. We're going to be looking at bringing in a PDF back into AutoCAD. So if someone sends you a PDF version of an AutoCAD file, you can actually import it back into CAD itself and it will show up as the drawing that they exported to the PDF. So with that being said, it should be a pretty quick and easy lesson. Let's get into it. Real quick, before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you like the video, give it a like down below. If you think anyone else could use this video, please give it a share. And if you want to see anything else done in AutoCAD, leave it in the comments section below. All right, so we're going to get started with this lesson. Again, it should be pretty short and simple. The purpose of this lesson, though, is to be able to take a PDF file that someone possibly sends you and convert it back into CAD. Now, to be very clear, this only works with CAD-associated PDF files. So you won't be able to take a regular PDF and convert it like we're doing here. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the PDF we want to convert back into CAD. And we're actually going to use the Warehouse Design Series PDF. This is a fake warehouse. And we want to put this back into CAD. So we're going to close back out of that. And we're going to come back to the Insert button up here in the top ribbon. And we're going to go over to PDF Import. And we're going to drop down this little button and click on the PDF Import button. Now, once you have this, You'll be able to see that it's asking you to select a PDF. I have some sensitive information here that I can't share, but this box will be full. It'll allow you to choose which PDF you're looking to import back into CAD. And we're going to scroll down here to the warehouse design one. We're going to click on it, click open. And then the next box it's going to give you is the import PDF box. Now there are a couple options here. There are a couple things pre-selected. I typically uh, like to just keep everything that's pre-selected where it's at. Um, this is more of a basic lesson too, so we're not going to get into too much of the pre-selections. One thing I do want to note is the import as block. I'm going to unselect that, but you can import anything within PDF as a block itself. So we're again, we just we don't want to do that right now. We want to keep it as a full drawing, so I can make changes throughout its current state. Once we have all this, um, you're going to click OK. And actually, I'm going to take off the apply line weight properties. I don't necessarily like that just because sometimes the line weights are all over the place. I want a clear, crisp drawing. We're going to now click OK. And it's going to take a second. So this um, process of converting PDF to CAD or DWG or back to it takes a little bit of time. There's a lot of lines it has to convert. And you'll see that in the bottom right hand corner. Um, this blue little uh, bar will keep going across and it'll take maybe a couple seconds depending on the size of the drawing. All right, so as you can see here, you now have your PDF back into the CAD version and you can actually do anything you want to it. Um, you can move stuff around if you wanted to. Again, it reconverts it back to a CAD file versus the PDF file that was sent to you. All right, so there are a couple other things you can do when you're importing the PDF into CAD, and we're going to go over those real quick. Again, minor things. We're going to click on the PDF import. We're going to go down to the warehouse design, and what you can do is actually specify the insertion point on screen, so this will allow you to say, hey, I want the drawing to go specifically here. We can rotate the drawing as well, so we're going to rotate it 90 degrees just because, and then we're going to import it as a block as well. So now this will create the drawing as one major block instead of all of the different layers within the drawing. We're going to click OK. And then it's asking us on screen where we want to uh, specify the insertion point or place the drawing. We'll click right here. And as you can see, it is now converting the PDF to CAD. This can take a couple seconds to a couple minutes, depending on the drawing. Luckily, we have a smaller drawing here, so this should only take a, a few seconds. And as you can see here, the drawing is now rotated 90 degrees, and when I hover over it, it illuminates into one block, and this is the layer zero block reference. And then I can come over here to look up um, the insert block, and you will be able to see that the warehouse design is in there. So that is the entire block because I brought it in like that. And those are really the only things that you're going to need to know on a basic level when you're importing your drawing from PDF into AutoCAD. All right, that's going to wrap up the video here. Hopefully you guys are able to follow along. Again, very useful skill if you're given a PDF file and you want to bring it back into CAD. If you guys like the video, give it a like down below. If you think anyone else could use it, give it a share. And thank you guys for watching and hope you guys have a good rest of your day.